Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on the video. I hope while you're here, you'll give this channel a chance. Stick around for a while, hit that subscribe button, turn up the notification bell, that way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. Give the video a thumbs up. It like literally takes a second. Just hit that thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, lets YouTube know you enjoy seeing my content, and it means a lot to me. Leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. Happy Wednesday. Get ready with me Wednesday, guys. I do this every week with my girl cat. If you've been here, then you know. If you haven't been here, now you do. We do this every week. We have been for over a year. So if you want to see what palette I'm going to use and the look I'm going to do, then stick around because I'll be right back. Thank you guys for sticking around. So like I was saying, this is Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this with my girl Kat every week. Hey girl, how's it going? Can't wait to see your video and the look that you do. So exciting. All right, today I thought that I would use one of the palettes that uh, when I did my, I didn't like do a declutter yet. I'm, I'm working on it, but I went through some of the palettes that I have. It's just, it's, it's hard guys, it's really hard. It's the Rock Chick Volume 1 palette that I got in, I believe my very first Busy Beauty Store PR box. Uh, if you don't know her, check her out on IG. She's amazing, I'm just saying. I'll leave some inserts of some stuff, some goodies that she has and her IG, just Busy Beauty Store. This is what the palette looks like. It's, it's a pretty, hefty palette. I don't think it's, maybe it is a little magnetic, a little magnetic. This is what it looks like inside. It's a nice size mirror. It does fold all the way back, which is nice. Really nice colors. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this palette. I did already uh, prep my skin. I clean my face and everything of course um i did my moisturizer i used this tool of skincare which i got in my busy beauty store pr box a couple months ago uh, i really like it and then i prepped my lids with my wet and wild and this is in the shade fair beige so um let's see i think what we'll do is we'll go in with sweet mustard and i'll leave the pictures up inside here so that you can see what they look like um what brush do you use that's like a really good question Renee what brush do you want to use I'm gonna use this elf flawless uh, concealer brush and I'm gonna go into sweet sweet mustard there is kick up and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid this might be a mistake but we'll find out Maybe this is a little darker than I thought it was going to be. Whoops. I should have used Fair Maiden. I think I'll dip into a little bit of Fair Maiden. Just to kind of tame this down a little bit. Let me use my color switch to clean off the brush a little bit. So how are y'all doing? I'm doing all right. Doing all right, all right, all right. Everything went well with the thing that I had going on last week, so that's good. Uh, we'll see if it stays that way. I don't know if this is going to turn out. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think I need to put a little bit of more of that mustard up here so it matches the other eye. I did go get a massage last week, which was amazing. And I really like the lady that does my massages. She's amazing. She really is. What color do I want to go in with now? I think I'm going to use this E5 blinged brush. And I'm going to go in with Vienna. And we're going to put that in the crease. But she's amazing. She is really good she just you know she knows what she's doing which i like 
and she really gets into my muscles the way that I need somebody to like there was one time she wasn't available so I made an appointment with somebody else and um yeah it didn't go very well because she she just like was so gentle not that I need somebody to be like super rough with me but I like deep tissue massage because the issues I got going on with my back because I had back surgeries and I have, you know, a Harrington rod in my back. So my back is pretty jacked up. And because of the curvature and everything, my hips are kind of, you know, messed up a little bit too because even though they were able to kind of fix the curvature a little bit when I was younger, they weren't able to make it perfect so there's still you know a bend in my spine and so like I have a lot of issues with my sciatic and I do try to stretch out you know as much as I can but you know uh back issues and hip issues are inevitable for me because of my back you know like when I went to Wyoming we went on a hike and you know I can hike for a little bit but I I can't I can't do that. I, I can't do, you know, six miles or five or six miles, you know, up in hills and stuff like that. I just can't do it anymore. It, it, it hurts me, you know, and I don't want to be in pain. So little, little, you know, hikes for, you know, a couple hours I can do, you know, as long as they're not like up and down hills and, you know, it was just, it was great. It was a great hike. I'm not saying it wasn't a great hike. I had a great time. I really did. But halfway through it, I was in pain. And, you know, I just, I don't want to be in pain. <laughs> it's miserable. I did have a good time, though, but should have had my pain pills with me. But I wasn't expecting that, you know what I mean? And that's the problem is, like, I don't... I don't expect, because I'm feeling good, you know, I'm not in any pain, I'm good, let's go, let's do this, and then get through it, and I'm like, well, that wasn't the best idea you've ever had, Renee. All right, so, mm, 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 mm. hold on, hold on, hold on. Looks like there was a little lift right there, so I'm just gonna fix that a little bit. I'm sweating, you guys, I don't know why. I've got the ceiling fan on every morning. Hot flashes. Drives me crazy. I'm, I'm, I need to turn the fan on. I need to turn the fan on. All right, much better, much better. If you hear it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I need to have the fan on because, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> and I don't want to go to work all sweaty. <laughs> I, I hate this, you guys. I hate it. What else did I do? What else did I do? I can't really think of anything that I, else I did this week besides my massage. Um, I did go to the grocery store with my son, which, you know, was nice. It's nice when he offers to go with me, you know? He's like, Mom, we need to go to the store. I'll go with you. Okay, all right, cool. What do I wanna do on the lid? I don't know what I wanna do on the lid. Maybe we'll use tilt I think it's tilt I think I'm gonna put a little more of the concealer right on the lid just to kind of do a cut crease and he's so helpful like a little bit you know like he'll help me bring in the groceries and he'll put the cart back and he'll put the groceries in the help me put the groceries in the car but he won't help me put it away he'll grab like his chips and his drink and goes to his room to play his game but I get a little bit so oh and you guys my roses my roses they're doing amazing they look so beautiful you can go over on IG and see pictures that I've posted of my roses but they're like this year is the best year I've ever had with my roses because a friend gave me tips and tricks to taking care of them like um I put banana peel 
in the soil and using um, Epsom salt and water to water them. All right, now what color, what color? What color to put on the lid, guys? I think we're gonna use Turkish Delight. That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can swatch it for y'all. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And we're just gonna tap that right here on the lid. Sometimes he's so helpful though. So helpful. Sometimes he's just a pain in my ass. I guess he's just going through, you know, growing pains or whatever. Hopefully it doesn't, I don't know, you guys, if there's any boys out there, how long do these like grumpy teen years last? He'll be 18 in December. So, you know, is this something that goes into the early 20s? Do we have any kind of a little bit of a time frame? <laughs> Oh, it's so frustrating. I really miss being, being a mom, you know? I miss when he needed me, it sucks. I just got a notification. That's a really pretty color. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. All right, now what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? I don't know. I think I need to put a little bit of this mousse. We're gonna put a little bit of mousse out here on this outer corner just to kind of darken it up a little bit and I'm just gonna tap 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 give it a little tap 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 a -rooney. I was watching this movie last night called I Feel Pretty um with Amy is it Amy Schumer oh my gosh dude it's hilarious um she like hits her head and like when she comes to she thinks she's like like the most beautiful girl in the world, you know what I mean? And she's like got all this confidence and like it's it's really cool to see, you know what I mean? Like she's super confident and comfortable with who she is and everything. And then she hits her head like I, I you know, in the beginning she's not, you know, but then she hits her head and then she comes to and like she's like has these feelings about herself and then towards the end she hits her head again and she um is like oh no it's all gone it's all gone I'm not you know beautiful anymore and she has to do this like presentation and she she has a picture of herself like when she thinks that she's beautiful and then a picture of herself normal and then when she looks at the pictures, she's like, it's like the same person, you know what I mean? And so she starts to realize, you know, that she is everything that she thought she was when she was thinking that she was the most beautiful girl in the world, you know? And like, you have to be confident in yourself and that you're, we're all beautiful, you know? Are we beautiful to every single person in the world? No, because everybody's got different tastes and everything like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's some people that I don't... They're just not that attractive to me. They could be a really nice person, and that's great. But they're just not, like, physically... I don't know if that sounds shallow or not. But, you know, I, I just feel like I have to be a little bit attracted to somebody to be able to be in a romantic relationship with them. I I mean, and it's not like saying anything about anybody. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean? I gotta be, I mean, isn't that the first thing that kind of like gets you talking to somebody is that you're 
like, oh, they're cute, or, you know, and it's not like somebody's got to be drop dead Brad Pitt gorgeous, but, you know, <laughs> a little bit of, you know, an attraction needs to be there, you know, otherwise, how do you have a romantic relationship with somebody, you know what I mean? I'm going to go into Vienna and buff this out. Uh, so far, I think I'm liking this palette. This I used it before, and I think I liked it too. Um, it's just been a really long time. And I really need to get some use out of the palettes that I have that have been sitting here. You know, see how they perform. And if it's not something that I like, doesn't necessarily mean somebody else won't like it. So I can always pass it on and share it. I think it's pretty. Alright, so I'm going to go off and I'm going to do my base and everything. What are you guys thinking so far? Rock chick. It's my 80s vibes, you guys. 80 vibe. Okay, so I'm going to do my face and I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Hey, hey guys. I'm back. And we're pretty much done. I blow dried my hair a little bit. Put my little butterfly clips aren't they cute so cute i use my essence lash princess mascara because i love it yes i do and then i use my kvd kink pencil for my tight line i used this avon emerald liner for my waterline i don't know but i thought a little bit of pop of color. I don't think it looks exactly like that. I think it's a little bit lighter than that, actually. I used my Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzer. I used my Pacifica Blush. My CoverGirl Setting Powder. I did use a little bit of this um, Wet n Wild Fair Beige just right underneath here. And then I also use my e.l.f. concealer for here, my nose, down here, my smile lines, and just kind of tapped it in. What are we thinking? I don't think it looks too bad. Oh, I threw on a shirt. Now let's do the Luana line. All right, let me find the brush that I normally use which is this Luna Magic. I need to get more of these brushes, you guys, because this one's really amazing. Now, what should I do for the lower? I'm gonna go in with mousse, and I'm just gonna smudge it underneath the lower waterline. Trying to figure out what color I would like to do in the inner corner. My nose, like, when I put the fan on, my eyes start to water and my nose gets stuffy which is driving me crazy because i don't want to have to blow my nose after i just put all my face makeup on you know what i mean that would really suck oh setting spray i used my revlon photo ready setting spray and i did put it on before i put my mascara on because we all know what ha what happens if you try to do setting spray after you do your mascara especially if the mascara isn't dried down yet yeah it gets all up underneath here <laughs> which is a big old mess okay how's that looking you guys i think i might use that and go in to vienna which is a little bit lighter brown color and just kind of Smudge this out a little bit. Alright. Color switcher. This looks like the one of the dollar store ones that I just bought to put in like friend mail or a giveaway. This one's better than the one that I bought on. You know what, though? I think it's just the pan. I think the actual sponge that was in it kind of sucked a little bit. And this is one of the sponges I bought off of Amazon that I replaced it with. So, that's it. The dollar store ones, they're, they work. They just, they fall apart really easily. All right, now, inner corner. I think we're going to go in with Glam On. Is that 26 or 28? I can't tell. 
because I don't have my glasses on. I'll leave pictures of these inserted in the video when I edit. Wow, that's really pretty. Let's get the other eye now. All right, guys. I like it. I really like it. Did I tell you I used my AOA Studio Famous for my lip liner? I've been using this a lot lately with my Ofra Gloss. I think it looks pretty. I'm just saying. What do you think? Dun, dun, dun. I'll show you the packaging again. Dun, dun, dun. Whoops, whoa trying to get to the concert on time metal model rock model rock cosmetics I think it's a great palette I really do I think she came out really pretty you guys let me know what you think I'm a little shiny right here all right I have to go to work I don't want to go, but I got to go. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you, Kat, for another week. I can't wait to see your video and the look that you do. I hope that you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. Stay safe, take care, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.